Sunil, tell us what's happening there. Is there a meeting uh, taking place? Uh, there was even some speculation whether Rahul Gandhi would actually go to parliament at a time when there's also questions on whether he's going to be disqualified. Well, Gargi, I think I uh, broke that news and said that he's been advised not to go to parliament. Yes. Uh, and uh, he isn't uh, going to parliament till, of course, uh, uh, he gets that all clear uh, from the sessions court or whichever higher court, uh, whichever stays that conviction. Uh, but uh, having said that, uh, they also, uh, Congress leaders are conceding that uh, he automatically stands disqualified. Uh, as we speak, uh, crowds continue uh, to uh, throng his residence. Uh, they are, you know, continuing to uh, uh, increase uh, by the numbers. Uh, and uh, Rahul Gandhi, of course, uh, consulting uh, senior legal uh, uh, luminaries within his party and leaders uh, from P. Chidambaram to Jairam Ramesh uh, to a host of other leaders. Uh, they are looking at various options uh, and having a discussion along with Mr. K.C. Venugopal and Mr. Rahul Gandhi about what exactly uh, should be the strategy uh, that has to be adopted. It's in that backdrop uh, that uh, this, uh, uh, you know, after his conviction uh, and his return to Delhi where he was given a uh, welcome by members of parliament as well as other uh, leaders uh, from the uh, Delhi Pradesh, uh, it's in that backdrop that they continue uh, to uh, uh, show solidarity with him uh, where after, of course, his conviction, uh, we'll have to wait and see how things play out. Two important points which I've said. One, uh, that he stands automatically disqualified. It depends on the speaker when he, um, you know, takes effect onto this. Uh, but there's no love loss and there's no illusion, uh, as I've been saying from this afternoon, uh, between the BJP and uh, Rahul Gandhi. Uh, and they will move uh, heaven and earth to ensure uh, that he's immediately disqualified. If he does it, if they don't, it will be a very, very surprising move. Having said that, the other issue, of course, uh, is about the fact uh, that uh, Rahul Gandhi has been advised uh, to stay away uh, from parliament at the present juncture uh, so as to ensure uh, that, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they can't cast uh, aspersion on him. Uh, I spoke to Mr. Singhvi, his legal team. He heads the legal, uh, Rahul Gandhi's uh, legal team in terms of advice. Uh, and he, uh, without coming on record, uh, made it clear uh, that it would be in the best interest that he stay away from parliament till he gets that stay in the conviction. That's right, uh, Sunil. And if we talk about, you know, precedent in such a case, you have the example of the Lakshwadeep member of parliament who was also convicted and, and uh, disqualified, but then it was stayed. And so, you know, so that is uh, something that uh, we've seen already happen. And, you know, and, and as you said, the legal team of Rahul Gandhi is already looking at, you know, the next, uh, next step to take in his appeals. Very interesting point, Gargi, that you bring it up. And it's very important to tell our viewers uh, the Lakshwadeep case is a classic case. Uh, just like in Rahul Gandhi's case, he was uh, convicted. Uh, and uh, immediately he, he was disqualified by the speaker. The election commission then notified an election. Uh, the Supreme Court then uh, uh, said that uh, uh, and reverted back to this uh, election commission asking them to reconsider saying that uh, we don't want this to happen immediately. This cannot be the case. There has to be a space for, you know, uh, challenging. And uh, ultimately the election commission agreed uh, with the point of view of the Supreme Court and said that we will wait. Uh, and uh, uh, we will uh, defer this decision and ultimately uh, withdrew it. In the meantime, the Lakshwadeep MP got a stay from the Kerala High Court. Uh, and uh, that uh, led to the entire uh, proceedings uh, becoming naturally uh, stayed in, in terms of things. But what had happened was that the Speaker had already uh, disqualified him. Uh, so the Speaker has asked the Law Ministry for its opinion. The Law Ministry now has suggested that he be reinstated. But the speaker hasn't still acted. Uh, now that there is a case in point, there's a case of precedence. Uh, it will be interesting to see whether they will act on the Lakshwadeep case because there is a law ministry uh, opinion, very categorical, to say that he should be reinstated. Uh, whether they, if that is done, uh, then a precedent is set. They can't. Say, they will have to do the same thing for Rahul Gandhi and cannot have a different yardstick. So uh, these are interesting points. These are grey areas. Uh, ever since. Uh, that uh, uh, decision uh, was uh, taken to not uh, give members of parliament or MLAs a special uh, dispensation in terms of conviction uh, when they are convicted by a trial court.